Hola, uh, me llamo es Malcolm Ian Cross de Slam City. Uh, saludos para Bisarma TV. En esos programas hacíamos la conversión, digámoslo así, de, de gráficos, de Spectrum, sobre todo, hacia, hacia los demás. Hacer un videojuego tiene una labor inicial de creativa, ¿eh? donde la idea es fundamental. Yo soy, yo era músico, pero a mí siempre me ha gustado mucho dibujar, ¿no? Eh, date cuenta que yo me he criado con los TVOs prácticamente de los kioscos. Eh, a, a mí como me gusta mucho el cine y una vez oigo podcast de, de videojuegos y oigo un montón de cine, y creo que 500 pesetas dos días, tres euros un par de días o tres. Eh, entonces... Nos encontramos ante el Trinity College. Aquí tenéis una carrilleta. Aquí la placa marca como 1020 metros de altura ya. Pues esto, esto, bienvenidos al espectáculo, como diría el mítico Andrés Montes, bienvenidos al club. Bueno, aquí está currado todo al milímetro, al más puro estilo. Es la segunda parte de Outrun. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the FA Cup final. It's York City against Tottenham Hotspur. Let's get straight to Wembley Stadium then. The arch looking absolutely at its best on a beautiful, clear day. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. FA Cup final day, one of the great days in the calendar. An occasion watched by pretty much every country in the world. It's our privilege to be here, Alan Smith. Yeah, special occasion, Martin. I've got a little shiver down my spine, just being here up on the gantry. Can't wait. This is the lineup. Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Jan Vertonghen plays with Federico Fassi as the centre backs. Paulinho plays with Christian Eriksen in midfield. In attack, Roberto Soldado starts. He scored a hat trick in the last game. A word from you, Alan, on a player who is a, a star turn really in this team, isn't he? Yeah, I've really enjoyed watching him over the last few weeks. Everything he's touched has turned to goal. York City. A good side they look at the moment. They won away their last game against Doncaster Rovers. Yeah, they showed good quality there in winning that away game 3-1. But uh, there's just something about that back four, that defence, that makes me think they're going to lose here. And the game is being controlled by Craig Pawson. Cup final is underway. The well, first 10 minutes or so, sometimes your legs can feel so heavy, but once you get that out of your system, the game will open up. That's really well done. Good defending. Judge the header to find uh, his teammate. And it goes for goal. Just as well someone got in the way of that. Tottenham, they will go into this game as overwhelming favourites. When you look at the attacking talent they've got, the pace on the side, they really should be wiping the floor with this team. Challenged quickly by the opposition. Gone out to the wingman. Into the attacking third. It is Kyle Walker. Now oh, that's a throw.
got a chance to cross. There's the ball in. And the defender has coped well with that cross. Mark Hornship. Cross it. Well, the danger was considerable, but it's over now. Oh, it goes across. He's reached it and he's caught it with a save. Brilliant. Christian Eriksen. There's some potential in this move. Well, they've won it back in the wide area by a good interception. Soldado. And there's a teammate free in the middle here. Etienne Capu. Very good skill, he's made the defender look a bit awkward there. Mark Hornship. forward, tackled well. This could be it. Got to be. Still a chance after that save. It will be their throw. Summerfield. Shots on here. There's still a chance after the save. Corner given. Fantastic first half in the FA Cup final, but not a decisive one. Level yeah. pegging. Yeah, all to play for, Martin. We're expecting an entertaining tussle. We've not been disappointed. I think the manager's going to say at half-time, well, keep doing the same and you will get a goal because they've opened up the opposition time and time again. I think that's dead right, Martin. You've got to have faith in your strikers that if more and more chances do come their way, they will take them. This time. Well, it was an engrossing first 45 minutes. Second 45 coming up in the FA Cup final. Yeah, it did go like a flash that first half, and uh, I don't think the second half will be too much different. Mark Hornship. Low. And the opponents come in strongly. It's been a very good game and the substitutes might be able to make it even better. We're going to get a change. In comes the challenge. On to the attack now. Close range shots. Got to be. He might be needed again, the goalkeeper. Excellent run. Federico Fazio. Carry 
carrying the ball forward. He's got to pass it out to the player giving the width on this side of the field. Possession in the midfield area. Soldado. Davis. Here's the cross. Now in towards Soldado. Fine save from the keeper to keep the match scoreless. Soon to come on EA Sports for you, the Euro League fixture. Spurs, they'll be hosting Liverpool. Yeah, really looking forward to it. There's two good sides coming head to head, should have some fireworks. Well, now we are going to have a substitution. And at this stage of the game, it's still level. This is what the manager will hope will be the decisive moment. goes the cross here comes the cross and as the center came in the defender was well placed to deal with it what can Tottenham do now in these closing stages well the time for patient short passing has stopped I think because route one is the order of the day now as they load the box Kyle Walker Jan Vertonghen. Eriksen. Offside. The officials clearly in agreement. And that's a straightforward offside decision. Match, but Spurs trying to change that to their benefit. And the goalkeeper can just stroll out and pick this up. And that has gone out of play with the deflection. We might look back at the end of the match. At this decision, one way or another, the scores are level, and only comes to try and tilt the game his team's way. Got the ball back. He might be through. Quickly, and he's just plunged onto the ball there. Yeah, that's top class from from him, and uh, really did help out his defenders there. <laughs> Summerfield into the attacking third. Still waiting for the first goal. The goalkeeper is responsible for that. 90 minutes up, and it's extra time. Very, very close, as the scoreline suggests, over the regulation period. Now we've got extra time. Can that separate the two sides? Musa Dembele. Paulinho. Could be dangerous.
Eriksson. Keeper can collect this one. Christian Eriksson. Diverted it away, and that's uh, the end of the first half of extra time. what's left of them back together again and here we go with 15 minutes left in now very good challenge Tottenham given the throw just picked it off that throw in saw it coming maybe knew the routine in with a chance that's the keeper's athleticism there to make that save well another wonderful save by a goalkeeper who must write as one of the world's best that's a great clearance Lewis Holtby Free kick. was on target but really didn't make it very difficult for the goalkeeper at all well, he would have done well to score from that because it wasn't the easiest of chances such a historic competition and their name is now on the list of winners of the FA Cup well nobody can take this away from those players it's a special competition and believe me it's a special feeling once that final whistle goes and you realize you're the winners better side have won on this final day here. They came into the competition as 
one of the favourites and they bore that burden well, if you can call it a burden. Well, up they go. And memories that will live with them for the rest of their lives. To win this tournament, all that it means to those players. No wonder the bounce is back in them. Well, you've got all your family up in the stands. They'll be watching down proudly, and certainly will be a huge feeling of pride within that team. Why not? Thoroughly deserved winners. Beautifully staged the final as well. And more to come. These end of match fireworks. They've provided the fireworks on the pitch. A terrific team, and for them, a place in the history books. Time to enjoy, time to celebrate.